through there at all. Sitting right on top. Should have got the one ounce. Well, I've only been out here 10 minutes and it's already a frustrating morning. I can't get the boat to sit still. My punch rig isn't heavy enough to punch these mats. Not that there's a whole lot in here, but it's not heavy enough to punch any of these mats. So I figured a three quarter ounce weight, should, tungsten weight should be plenty to punch through this stuff since it's not super thick or I didn't think it was super thick. Apparently it is. So I can't, can't even get through it. So now I'm, I mean, whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw the old sink all around and see what happens, I guess. And of course, somehow I've got water in my boat there's a fish that just jumped right there. Somehow I have water in my boat, even though I have a cover for it. It hasn't rained the last two days. Somehow I have water in my boat. So my morning is just off to a phenomenal start. kind of cool I guess that jet literally flew directly over top of my head
I don't know if y'all saw that. Probably not. But right over there, I just watched a bass chase a bluegill up there and crush it. So they're definitely staging along the edges, along the shallows, kind of hitting that spot. And some of them are, are chasing the bluegill. It's just a matter of getting them to bite. So I'm going to go back to uh, trying to work the edges with this swim jig. I'd say I'd throw that square bill around again, but I'd rather have something a little bit more weedless, like those treble hooks. So that weed guard in there is really going to help me out, especially since uh, I'm trying to throw so close to the weed edges, or I could just bird's nest. That's cool too. I swear it seems like every time I try and do a video, I either don't catch fish or everything goes wrong. When I'm not recording, when I don't have the GoPro out, I'm catching fish. Like two weeks ago, I was out here throwing my infamous Lucky Craft lipless crankbait. And granted, nothing was crazy huge. But I was catching fish. And I'm talking like I was catching up to five fish at a time. Or in a, in, not at a time, but in a morning. You know, catching five fish. Now I can't even catch one. Not only could I not catch a fish, but I can't even cast. Can't even cast my bait. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and uh, try and get this untangled. And more than likely, I'm done fishing. So yeah. All right. So quick update. Uh, I got called over by the game warden. Apparently, I'm not allowed to put drive up and down the bank to put my boat in, so that sucks. He told me I can pull it out today with my truck. Other than that, now I got to start either dragging it in or have a buddy help me carry it in, whatever. Either way, I started noticing bass up on this end of the pond um, blowing up right up against the bank, like chasing bluegill hard. So I started making my way over here. Uh, I actually threw my spinnerbait. I got a... Uh, spinnerbait tied on right now through this thing real quick and was actually going faster with the motor than I could reel in even with a 711 gear ratio uh, started reeling in all my slack and as soon as I caught up to the line and started pulling it in I actually had a fish on the line caught this bad boy and of course my live well is starting to empty out caught this dude nice big healthy bass mouth is completely red so he's been eaten up i'm going to plug the live well and fill it back up and then i'm going to get back over there You know what? I got one more bait that I want to try. Whether I catch anything on it or not, I don't know. But last year I used it like crazy. I was catching fish with it like crazy. I don't think they even make this little crankbait anymore.
a Strike King Bleeding Ghost. It's a little diver. I was catching so many fish with this thing last year. It's ridiculous. And again, it was right about this time. Mid to late January. Man, another fish just coming up. Blasting up against the bank. You see it? See it? Schooled up right there. I hope you all saw that. Oh, I just got hit. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Hell yeah. Need to get this guy in here quick so I can get back on this school. Oh, angry. Angry fish. Awesome. Look at that guy. Let's get back in there. Try the spinnerbait one more time, and we'll call it a day. So like I said, I know the wife's waiting on me. Where's my spinnerbait? I don't know if you saw that, but it's right where I tossed that spinnerbait, a fish swirled up right next to it. So I really thought I was going to get bit. There's one. There's one. Good fish. That time I threw it past them. I started bringing it to them instead of trying to throw right at them, which I know is what you're supposed to do anyways, but not a bad fish. Not bad. Tell you what, these fish are angry though. Come on. Get up here. Alright, here we go. Look at that, another good healthy fish. Not quite as big as the other two, I don't think. But just mouth, absolutely red. Look at that, these guys been munching. Put him in. Man, look at that, those fish are angry. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Sorry, babe. When the fish are biting, you got to go with it.